All right, y'all, welcome back to the video. You can see what is crossing the creek right now. I got my buddy back out here with his excavator, and we're doing a little bit more clearing on the property today. Now, the area we're working with right now, you can tell, I call them pods. There's like three or four pods of trees on this property, and a lot of deer are congregating and they're using it. So if they're cutting across the fields and making their way to these pods, I want them to hang around once they find something they like inside. So we're doing more food plots in the woods. We're clearing some more trails for them. Not too much that's going to scare them, but deer will use trails if you give it to them. So if I can kind of direct the deer to certain sections where I want them to go, it's going to help them and us out in the long run. Found a nice section in the woods that's not looking too bad. So we're going to start there to slowly work away into the woods. We'll start clearing it down and we'll just kind of go around stuff if it's too big but mostly all of it we'll be able to push through so with that being said y'all enjoy this video and let's get to work All right, so I'll try to give you guys a little bit of an update so you can understand what's going on. This is what we've cleared so far. The path is all the way up there, but we made our way all the way through here. She comes down, we're gonna keep on going. We come through these two trees, and right now Nick is working on getting all of this brush back in front of him. So from like down there, this way we're clearing out, and this is where the food plot's gonna be. Right behind the pond, like in the corner where the creek is, a lot of turkeys are moving through here. Now that I'm thinking about it, the deer are going to be using this, but the turkeys love this spot the most. So we're pretty much making trails for us to hunt on. We'll have a nice luscious food plot. And y'all, this, this is going to be a good spot. So let's roll back to the time lapse. She is looking so freaking good. I never have equipment out here. I just, I, you guys know I'm a, I'm a labor hand. I do everything the hard way. So it's just, it's nice to have something this, this would have took me like two weeks, three weeks, a month. I mean, it, it would have took me a long, long time, even just to clear the path. So to have this all knocked out in one day, it, it, Nick's a really good friend, man. I'm glad he was uh, able to come out here, but let me show you guys what we got. So I caught you up with the two pine trees, but now we are cleared out all through here it kind of runs down a line we have a good barrier of all the stuff that we cut down it kind of loops in that corner and then we're going to clear a little bit more through here so it's pretty much just a massive square and it, it worked out really good this is our wrap for today 
Next clips you'll see, we'll have the skitter down here and kind of tidy it up, get some of these roots out, start making it pretty level. And guys, not long after that, I'll be coming back and throw some seed down. Let's go get all the equipment wrapped up and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all, it's the next day. We're making our way down the path. I am super excited because we're hopefully gonna be finished today with this trail and completing this little food plot. Get steers loaded up. We got the bucket and we got the root rake. We're just pretty much just gonna go through our food plot today and get rid of mostly all of these big roots you see how it works? It, there's a lot of roots in here. We, we got to get these off. We got some big ones, some small ones, just all through here. That's all we got. So let's let the machine do its thing and see how good this root rate's going to work. y'all nick's heading out damn it boy she's looking good extremely happy with it let me show you guys what she's looking like see we're kind of keeping our lines all the way through she runs all the way down that wood line kind of wraps in the back we got a little corner down here and all the way around so i'm going to be hunting the field a lot guys and what i really wanted to do for for this food plot knowing that it's so close to my fields and i call it a pod it's just a little a little pot of woods i want to have the turkeys coming through here and i want to also have the deer so let me explain to you guys what I'm going to be doing and how it's going to work out for both. So we got our seeds down here. I want to do two different types. I'm going to do something for spring, summer, or fall, and uh, I want to get that growing really quick. And then I want to have something I could kind of hunt over towards fall and winter because not many, not many food plots will make it to winter. The first thing I'm going to throw down for spring, summer, fall is really going to be for the turkeys. And it's pretty much a mixture between uh, chicory and all different types of clover. So we got uh, white clover, red clover, green clover. So this one's going to be very attractive for the cold weather. And we're going to have winter rye oats, winter peas, radish. It's all going to be a different blend. So, I mean, I'm, I'm doing a, a lot of different seeds. But for this food plot, I think it's going to be very well worth it. I'll be able to hunt this for a bow. And then, like I said, I'm hunting the field. So most of the deer... They have, to, they have to cross me first to get to this little pod. So it's just, it's a good way to attract them. And I, I really want to have some good stuff in here. You guys remember the old shitty little spreader? We're going to load this thing up first with the winter rye, kind of go through here. And then I'm just going to flake. I don't want a lot of clover. I just want a little bit. I'm going to flake over with, with my clover and my chicory. And we're going to see how she takes. We got all the seed out. It's looking pretty good. That spreader is a damn piece of shit though, but we, we, we made it work. It's it's about even. I did a lot more of my my winter seeds and I guess I just went through very lightly with some of the clover just to get them in here. And me and Nick just went to go check on the other food plot and we actually stumbled across, what Nick, nine? At least nine, nine, ten turkeys and they had some babies with them. There wasn't many. I think I kind of like four or five so i mean I'm, I'm glad some made it this this plot right here is going to do good over time we really need rain my sunflowers i have to constantly keep watering them it's like 95 degrees every single day here and hopefully tonight around like six o'clock we're going to get our first thunderstorm and um a couple days after that so i think the plot's going to do good we just got to give it time and pray on the rain nick man thanks for all the help you freaking killed it no problem anytime without nick i could not have gotten any of this done and 
for our future food plots and cutting trails through the woods, I'm gonna have to have him here with me because dude works hard, he works fast, and he gets stuff done. But Nick actually owns his own business. Guys, he can grade, he can, any machine work, excavating, the skid steer, you see his work, he's, he's really good at it. If you guys live near my area or further and you wanna get a quote or just, you know, have him come out and just do something for you, just leave a comment down below or you can hit me up on Instagram. I'm not gonna give Nick's number because you guys would blow his ass up, so. <laughs> we gotta keep it like this, but Nick, he works good, man. You guys will see more of them when, um, when we start to do more out here on the property, but yeah, leave some comments down below. So I just threw up an edge trail camera really right behind me and it's shining all the way front into this food plot. I just kind of want to see what, what comes through here while this is probably growing. If we get all of our rain, I'll be in Wisconsin. So um, it should be at least a week and a couple days. This plot should have enough time to, to start growing. So if something does come in here, I want to ready. I want to see if the deer were even scouting it out before we threw the seats down because making these trails and just kind of tilling up all this ground, it, it provides stuff for them and they'll come scope out fresh dirt. If you guys enjoy these videos and want to see more like it, you know what to do, leave in the comments down below. Hit up my boy Nick if you want some work. When we get back from Wisconsin, we're going to have a lot more management out here on the farm. And if you guys want to see anything or just have any suggestions for me, you know what to do. I really appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, Litton Bass TV.